Good afternoon, everybody. I want to welcome you to City Hall. This is really a wonderful, wonderful afternoon. I want to take a moment, if I could. First of all, I'm Robert Sullivan. I'm the mayor of the city of Brockton, and I want to welcome everybody here. I want to take a moment to recognize Council and former President Shirley Azak. Thank you, Council, for being here. Woo. School committee member Joyce Azak, thank you for being here, Joyce. Councilor Jack Lowley, Council, thank you for being here. Councilor and Dean of the Council, Dennis Ianeri, thank you for being here, Dennis. And uh, Ward 7 School Committee member, Tim Sullivan. Tim, thank you for being here as well. And then our, our great superintendent of schools, Mike Thomas. Thanks, Mike, for being here. So I do want to welcome everybody to the Lebanese flag uh, raising ceremony. This is a historic day here in the city of Brockton. Uh, it's Independence Day. And uh, I'm really, really uh, proud to have everybody here today to celebrate uh, the Lebanese culture and the wonderful contributions that the Lebanese citizens of Brockton have given over the decades to the City of Champions, uh, be it through law, education, uh, development, um, just, just, just so many different endeavors here in the City of Brockton that have been made up by wonderful Lebanese descendants here in the City of Brockton. And I thank everybody for being here today. Uh, I also want to uh, take a moment, and I had asked Shirley, Joyce, and Mike, uh, three dedicated public servants of Lebanese descent to say a few words. I thought it would be more than appropriate. So with that being said, former council president and councilor from Ward 7, Shirley Azak, please come to the podium, councilor. Thank you. 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 Well, hello, everybody. It's so nice to see everybody here this evening. Um, First of all, on behalf of the Lebanese community, I would like to thank Mayor Sullivan and his team for this first ever uh, Brock, uh, first ever in Brockton Ooh. Lebanese flag raising in honor of Lebanon's Independence Day. It truly means a lot to us as a community who, throughout the years, have embraced and celebrated our rich heritage and culture here in our great city of Brockton. So Lebanon's Independence Day commemorates the end of the French mandate over Lebanon in 1943, which has lasted 23 years. Lebanon was influenced from ancient cultures, the Phoenicians, Assyrians, Romans, and Ottomans. The history of Lebanon makes the nation one of the most diverse cultures in the region, with over 18 religions practiced. That's when Pope John Paul visited Lebanon, and he stated during his visit, Lebanon is more than a country. It's a message to the world. So today we celebrate the Lebanese flag, which was adopted just weeks after Lebanon took its sovereignty. This flag is truly symbolic, as the red stripe symbolized the nation's fight for freedom, while the white stripe in the center stands for peace and the snow found in the nation's mountains, mountainous region. And at the center sits a green cedar tree, a symbol of resilience, and longevity that has populated Lebanon's landscape for millennia. So thank you everybody, and I have to recognize that without St. Teresa's Church here in Brockton, we wouldn't be the community we are today. We have Father Joseph here with us. We have a lot of our parishioners that are here that aren't Brocktonians, but I know they consider Brockton home because of St. Teresa's Church. So thank you. Thank you again, Mayor. And we have Senator Brady that is, uh, he's, he's, he's always with our Lebanese culture, so he's always here. Thank you. Thank you very much, Councillor. I do want to take a moment at this time to welcome uh, School Committee woman Joyce Azak to the podium. Joyce. Good afternoon. Um, actually, I wasn't prepared for a speech, so I'm going to speak from the heart. So as a five-year-old, I came here with my parents in 19, we're not going to say, um, and here I am standing before you as a school committee member for the city of Rockton. Um, we will always remember our heritage, where we came from, and this is such an honor for us to be here today, um, representing Brockton, and then also celebrating Lebanon's Independence Day. Um, so from my heart, thank you, uh, Mayor, for recognizing our Independence Day. Sorry, this mask is a little. But um, and to my mother and my father, who took a chance and brought us here, and look at us, you have two Lebanese born, you know, you have a counselor and a school committee member representing our country and giving back to our city. So thank you, we appreciate all
all your support. Um, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Joyce. <laughs> I'd like to uh, welcome to the podium now uh, the superintendent of the schools, Mike Thomas. Well, it's fitting, Mayor, that you had this first hand you went while I'm superintendent. Uh, I'm proud of my Lebanese heritage, and uh, my grandparents came came over um, from the old country back in the early 1900s, um, and we always celebrated our heritage. Unfortunately, they never taught us the language, um, well, the language they did teach me, I can't repeat here. So, um, but I also want to recognize um, one of my mentors, former Superintendent Mithela George, um, also Lebanese, who couldn't be with us today, but I want to recognize him. I want to recognize fellow educator, Michelle Nezzarella, principal at the Bluff School. And also George Lewis, another fellow uh, Lebanese American, who is a guidance counselor for the Brockton Public Schools. But thank you, Mayor, for doing this. It's great to celebrate Lebanon and the great people in Brockton. Uh, St. Teresa's, where I was baptized, and um, it's just a great celebration for the city, and I'm proud to be here, so thank you. Senator Brady, would you like to say some words? Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and thank you for everyone showing up tonight. Um, the culture in the Lebanese community, Brockton has always been a very diverse community. We have many different ethnicities in Brockton, but uh, I go back, my family came from the east side of Brockton on Provo Street before I was born, and they lived at Dr. Abdu's mother's house. And then I, you know, before I was born, they moved to Pleasant Street, so near North Warren Avenue, where a lot of Lebanese families have settled and so forth. And we can never forget where we come from and our rich heritage and ethnicity and, and all the great things that the Lebanese have given to our community here in Brockton, um, not only with City Council, Shirley A's, I can cousin, school committee, Joyce Azak, but also the AZF skating rink, named after Representative AZF. Uh, it was a, it's a state skating rink, it's a beautiful skating rink, and it was one of the few in the south shore of Massachusetts at one point, so a lot of the communities outside skated there. When I was a lot younger, I used to skate there too. Those days are long gone because of all the lovely food I've been eating over the years, but uh, from the bottom of my heart, I am honored to be your state representative. Thank you to everyone here who came out tonight, and thank you to everything you've given to our community in the city of Brockton. God bless you. Something to be said about an Irish mayor and an Irish senator talking about the Lebanese. And we can talk about the Nezarellas and the Azaks and the Matas and the, and the Aziafs. So many people here in the city of Brockton that really create the fabric of the city of Brockton. And I just want to say on behalf of everybody here, thank you for what you've done. Uh, we learn from the past to forge the future. And our future is great here in the city of Brockton if we do it together. I, uh, now, before we... Uh, before we actually uh, go and, and, and raise the flag, and Alexander Nunes is, act Nunes is actually going to uh, sing to us today. But before we do that, I have a proclamation, and I'm going to present it to Shirley and Joyce, but I would love to proudly give it to St. Teresa's. Uh, it's a proclamation. Whereas Lebanon was liberated from France in 1943 in an act which demonstrated the resolute spirit that has characterized the Lebanese culture through the ages. And whereas the growth and prosperity of Brockton, Massachusetts is due in part to our rich diversity, which includes members of Lebanese descent, and whereas the city of Brockton has been greatly enriched by the introduction of Lebanese customs, food, and culture, which were brought here by Lebanese immigrants who made an indelible mark on the city of champions, and whereas it is an honor to recognize the accomplishments and contributions of our residents of Lebanese ancestry and to extend to them best wishes for continued success and prosperity, now, therefore, I, Robert F. Sullivan, Mayor of the City of Brockton, hereby proclaim today, November 22, 2021, in the City of Brockton as Lebanese Independence Day, and I urge all residents in our fine city to join me in observing this very special day, and I proudly sign and seal it the 22nd day of November 2021, and I'd like to give this to the, uh, to the counselor, to the school committee, and then, of course, I'm going to have Father say a prayer before we, we hoist the flag, okay? First, uh, I would like to thank you, Mayor and all uh, those who came tonight for this celebration. And um, uh, we're so proud to be in, in Brockton, this, the city of champions. 
And I'm sorry, like the Lebanese community is way bigger than this, but most of them are at work, you know. But thank you for that, and we'll pray together. Next year, Father. Next year. Back yeah, well, uh, thank you. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou amongst women, and the blessed are fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be well without end. Amen. God bless you. So I'm going to ask uh, everybody to join us over at the, at the flag, and uh, we are going to hear the national anthem.